All right, thanks for checking out my Blue Yeti mic and Blue Pop filter video. Now, if you know anything about the Blue Pop filter, it doesn't actually fit the Blue Yeti mic, which is crazy, I know. And in fact, it almost cost me buying this Blue Pop, Blue Pop filter. But I'm like, I'm gonna go for it, and let's see if I can't figure out a way to, to connect the two without any drilling or any crazy connections. And sure enough, this video, this video was made for people just I, because I, I mean, I figured out how to do it. And I figured if I can save myself or anybody else frustration based on my frustration, if I could just save you, it's a simple video I know and a simple solution, but if I can save you frustration, then it was worth it. This is how I did it without any drilling. You can see the arm there. You can see how it's generally basically attached to the Blue Yeti mic. And there's the Blue Pop filter right there. So the arm goes down like that. It attaches to the bracket on that left side there. Okay, now there used to be a black bolt on the right side of the bracket, okay? But I removed the black bolt, and then I was able to slip the bracket in between the mic and the Blue Yeti um, stand, and then put the Blue Yeti bolt, as you can see right there, back in. That bolt right there, it comes out. So you can put the bracket in, put it back in, and then tighten it right back up, and boom, it's in there. And then you take the arm, you can see here, here's the, here's the arm, the arm goes down to that end of the bracket, and you're able to take that black bolt, there used to be another black bolt there. Remember, that's on the side, don't need it. You take that black bolt, put the arm through, and then attach it, and boom. That's nice and tight in there. It goes right back up, and look, doesn't move. It actually holds, stays in place, and it's great. It's, I'm able to move the micro, microphone around, and the pop, pop filter actually doesn't move. It's a great solution. There's no drilling. I know it's a simple solution, but again, I'm making this video not so that I blow your minds away, but just if I can save anyone else frustration, then it's worth making this video. And there you can see the arm goes right back up. It's perfectly placed. It's not moving. No drilling was necessary. And I gotta tell you, you know, this mic and, and pop filter combination is fantastic. The sound quality is exquisite. And if you want my review of the whole thing, go for it. This is absolutely one of the best USB mics on the planet and I highly recommend it. And it's worth every penny. So there it is. That's how to use the Blue Pop with the Blue Yeti mic. And this is how to attach it without drilling. And um, again, thanks so much for watching. Um, if I've saved you any frustration, if you've gotten any value out of this, please like, please comment, please share this video. And again, hopefully I'm giving you a good view of how to set it up. Just copy what you see in this video. Just copy what you see and how I've set it up in this video. Rewind it, scroll back, pause the video, whatever. So again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you've gotten any value from this. Thanks so much for watching.